Okay, guys, um, welcome back. So, um, we're going to be creating our stitches now. So, I'm going to start by creating the stitches for the cover, and then I'm going to walk through creating the stitches for the other part also. But I won't be um, boring you guys with creating or showing you guys the entire process for adding stitches to the entire bag. That will take an awful long time to do, and I feel that will kind of bore you guys. So I'm going to do just for this cover, yeah. And then the same process also applies to the other parts of our bag that has um, um, some st some st some st stitches on there. So this is my ref. I'm using, I'm using this reference image here to kind of know where my stitches my st my stitches should be and then kind of place those stitches on there so okay that's fine so um i'm going to carry on by going to the cover then i'll solo this kind of get a better view on this zoom in like so okay okay then turn this around now if you turn this around if you hold shift you kind of snap kind of snap to an angle so let me kind of zoom out a bit more like so kind of position this right about here change my lights this light around here okay set this around here kind of zoom in a, bit, a little bit more so, 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 around, so around here is fine so I go to my layers and then I'm going to add, okay. Okay. Then on top of this, I'm going to add my, um, okay. On top of this metallic, I'm going to add my stitches. So create a new fill layer. And I'm going to name this layer stitches. Double click on this and name this stitches stitches enter then I go to that layers drag down here turn off metal normal and I'll leave the height and roughness so roughness all the way up and then for my color so I want to type in a value here so I took myself I took the liberty of um, looking for something that will work so I can close quickly show you guys so I'm going to be using for the R0 no 1.000 for the green then using 0 0.271 and for the blue I'm going to be using 0 0.204 okay cool then for the height i'm going to be checking if this is working correctly okay 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 then i'll go to the height and kind of increase this just a touch somewhere around here should be fine then right click and add the black marks to this add the black marks go in here type in stitches drag this down so i'm going to be using this last one down here stitches small so selecting that okay go to my brush settings all the way here then for the size i'm going to be using eight okay let me see okay let me try somewhere around 0 0.8 let's see and that's fine control z then for the spacing i'm going to be using 137 enter okay so that's like the general idea i'm going to be using for the entire bag or I might, I might make the size smaller if I 
choose two, but the rest should be, remain default. The spacing, the color, roughness, and height should remain default. So I'm going to start by moving this around, only down shift to snap this to an angle. Go right here and kind of start placing in my stitches. So from the um, flow, from the flow, I'm going to I'm going to put this at no pressure for the pen. So now I can and, and, and I'm also going to turn on my um, lazy mouse. Turn this on and leave it at 16. Then I'll just drag out here like so. Start fixing in my stitches. Slowly doing this. Okay. Uh, undo. So I'm going to write, we do that. So take this down, run 13. Start drawing this out. Slowly. So I'm kind of taking my time to do this. Okay. Then kind of continue from where I stop. Slowly drawing this out. Now it doesn't need to be completely perfect. Just something close to the edge that will work. Kind of continue drawing this also. Drawing this out all the way. Maybe around here is fine. That's cool. So let me kind of zoom out to kind of visualize this from afar. Now that's nice. So I'm going to go around somewhere like here. Kind of zoom in to get a better view on this. Then Start drawing one that go that goes across like so. Okay. As you can see, it takes carefulness to get this right. So you don't have to do it all at once. Just take your time. Okay. Go all the way here like so. Start pulling that out. I'm doing this slowly. Now, if something goes wrong and you feel like you want to erase some part of this, it's very, that's very easy. Still on your um, on your max, you can just choose the default brush and then scroll down to the grayscale and put that to around black, and then you can erase some portions of it if you don't want that. So let me see if I can quickly illustrate that. So let's say I basically draw out something like so that I don't want. So still on this on my layer max on my max can go to a default brush. Choose this add brush. Then change this to black or you press X on your keyboard then now I can just erase this completely. So I'm sure you guys get the idea. So I'm, I'm going to go back to my stitches and continue drawing this out. Let me see if it still maintains. So drag this all the way to white. And see if it still maintains my settings. So my settings has been removed. So I'll just put that back in 0 0.8. For this, 137. Then no pen pressure. So now I can just change my light source somewhere around here. So I can easily visualize what's going on down here. So I'll just keep pulling this out. So like I say, you don't have to do it all at once, just slowly. Let me get a better view on this. I'm going to zoom in like so. 
put this around here then continue drawing something that goes across slowly okay drag this down so I'm taking my time to do this so I'll get a more decent result so like I said it doesn't need to be completely perfect when it's completely perfect then it feels more so it doesn't feel so nat so natural but once you're doing this by hand and it's not so perfect it feels kind of natural so pulling this out getting a view on here then continue adding these stitches so right now the resolution is not so high it's around 2k that's why you can see the beauty of this sharpness of these stitches but once we're exporting this out as 4k so we're going to see the um, beauty of these um, stitches on our bag so it has a more sharper resolution then okay pulling this out drag this in here and then continue making my stitches doing this slowly so I get a more decent result go in here drag not to the end somewhere around here should be one more So around here should work. Then kind of continue this on here. Then this as slowly as I can. Okay. Get a better view on here. Then continue making these stitches. Okay. Dragging this all the way up. Okay, pull this down. Go across like so. And continue adding more stitches. Okay, cool. Just take your time to kind of fix this. It seems like it's just tags, but once you take your time and you do this the final result always look always looks really good and that's the reason why i said i won't be showing you guys how i add these stitches for the entire bag so i'll just show you guys with this cover then on your own you can just fix these stitches for the entire thing so f on my keyboard kind of zoom out it's kind of frame to the object go to the back zoom in zoom in a bit more like so change my light holding down the shift key and your right mouse button and move around and then go around this angle and kind of continue this downwards so we're almost done almost there cool so we're there now so i can zoom out frame out uh change my lights then zoom in a bit more and kind of visualize how this is working so that's cool really nice really nice so the same process i'm going to be applying to the entire portions of the bag same process also okay oh cool so uh, I'm sure you guys get the entire idea so I'm going to carry on and just add more stitches to the other parts of the bag so I'll see you guys when I'm done so bye for now